The outrage surrounding Queen Cleopatra has not died down, and even though the actress has hidden from the backlash and Netflix has said nothing about the series, it's not getting any better for them. And now the media has decided to start trying to defend this series. Instead of acknowledging the problems people have, they've started spewing insults at us, calling us toxic and racist for criticizing this inaccurate series. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So, I have a few different articles, actually, that have gone up over the past few days, but let's start with this one from Decider. Queen Cleopatra's audience score getting review bombed on Rotten Tomatoes isn't funny. It's racist. Nobody said that it was funny, and nobody said that this show was funny. Nobody has been defending this series, because this is a show that I would typically think the critics would defend, right? Uh, even Decider here. But judging by the Easily 10% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. It doesn't seem like even the critics liked it all that much. It says in today's game of Is It Racist? We're looking at the RT reviews for Queen Cleopatra. The new docu-series has accumulated thousands of negative reviews from viewers and critics who are mad that the Egyptian queen was portrayed by a black actor, Adele James. You may be wondering, how do you know that's what they're upset over? Well, racists aren't as smart as you may think, and no matter how much they dress up their words, the quiet part is always made loud. Many of the reviews distinctly criticize the casting choice for Cleopatra or slam its historical inaccuracy, telling us exactly why they hated the series. Now, the outrage wasn't about her as an actress. It's not about the casting like they're trying to make it out as. It's all about twisting and manipulating historical facts to push an agenda. The theory that Cleopatra was black that some people choose to believe holds no weight. It's not like we have some major discovery pointing to, oh, well, this is why researchers believe she was black, besides some theories about who her mother was and Renaissance portraits, even though none of those painters saw her face to face and painted what they saw. That is the problem here. That is why people are upset because this is billed as a documentary, a docu-series, right? This isn't just like a reinterpretation of her life or with characters that do represent some of the people that were around her and of course her. Uh, no, this is supposed to be presented to you as fact, facts about her life, about who she was, and they are you know, not realistic at all. That is the issue that people have. I don't have an issue with black actresses or with this actress in a particular. The only thing that I've truly criticized her for was her response on social media, you know, spouting on about how this series has done so well and it's on Netflix's top 10 list, which, by the way, only a week after it's no longer on the top 10 list. And she has locked all of her tweets instead of just simply allowing people to chat about what they thought about her. No, no, this is her response. Uh, saying that blackwashing isn't real and everyone's just, you know, raging racists, which is absurd. On the website, the Netflix show, executive produced by Jada Pinkett Smith, has an 11% from nine critics, well, now it's a 10%, and a 2% audience score with over 2,500 viewers reporting. We knew this show was going to bomb months before release when they were released releasing the uh, teasers and trailers, we saw the absolutely massive ratios that were happening on YouTube, on Twitter, just social media in general. We knew that this series was not going to go over well because people are not just going to accept Netflix's historical revisionism. And another major problem was it was executive produced by Jada Pinkett Smith, somebody who clearly doesn't understand history and somebody who is willing to jump into any controversial project simply to have her name out there. She is someone who who views any press as good press, and over the past two years or so, she has had a lot of problems for her, and this is just another to add to the list. 
they try to paint the reason why most people are upset as a lie. They point out reviews that talk about historical revisionism, and then they say things like, oh, you know, it's just another excuse. It's not an excuse. This is genuinely the only reason why people are upset. It says uh, in one review, depicting Cleopatra as a sub-Saharan African in a documentary is historically inaccurate and can be seen as an insult to both Greek and Egyptian history, wrote one angry one-star reviewer. Another armchair historian claimed this series is a fictional drama historically inaccurate, discrediting the array of historians Netflix interviewed for the series, which ranged from professors to Egyptologists. Yeah, and clearly they didn't actually talk to anybody that knows their history because these people did not even know the simplest facts about this woman. And uh, Vogue also put up an article talking about the backlash, saying, let's just call the outrage around Cleopatra what it is, racism. It is not racism. Of course, there's going to be a few people out there who are going to be angry simply because it's a black woman. There are always a few bad apples in every single bunch, like these individuals, right? They're going around calling people racists when we're not. But we're not calling out every single journalist over it. Yes, we're calling out the ones that deserve to be called out over it. But I don't just go on Twitter and say, oh, journalist, you're a racist, sexist, toxic, bigot. I don't do that because that's not how human beings should work. It says you'll have caught wind of the discourse around Queen Cleopatra by now. The question of historical inaccuracy and cultural appropriation peppered with a predictable dose of racism have made international headlines since the first trailer for the show dropped, introducing her as a mixed heritage black woman. It is not dramatic. It is not a lie. This is why people are upset, okay? There are not just questions of historical inaccuracy. People are pointing out facts that mean, oh, this show is historically accurate. These people just will lie any time they can and spew out awful things about people who they simply disagree with, right? If you like this show, that's great. Go and give it a positive review. Go on social media and say you like it. But don't attack people and call us toxic racists simply because we don't want historical revisionism in our documentaries. I mean, clearly people do not like this series. 10% critic, 2% audience with now over 5,000 ratings. And it did go all the way down to a 1%. Not that 1% is much of a difference now that it's sitting at a 2, but I don't think that it's going to go much higher, right? I don't think it's going to get up to a 15% or a 20%, and it does not deserve to because of how awful this series truly is. But yes, now the media is attacking us saying that, you know, it getting review bombed on Rotten Tomatoes isn't funny. It's just racist. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.